it is Monday morning. Oh my God, I love you so much. I'm about two weeks into my new house and I'm finally feeling like, okay, I can get like some routines going again. Like not just like, oh, this is the new version. It's like, okay, this is like actually what we're doing. And I'm starting to feel a little bit more like settled, which is really great. I would like mad dashed unpacking because I loathe living out of boxes. So I did like a mad dash of like getting my house ready. And I had a oh, baby. I had a housewarming party. Um, not a housewarming party. I had a, a thank you dinner. Not the same thing at all. For some friends that were like really, really helpful for the like the transition period of time I had. I am very aware that I have not shared anything about what's going on. That's mainly because it's incredibly traumatic and I am not in a final draft thought kind of headspace yet. And I do not want to say anything I shouldn't say. And I also, you know, when you're just like, mm, now's not the time, that's where it is. So I'm not consciously gatekeeping. I'm not consciously avoiding. I, I've just been through hell and my whole life went up in flames and I am just not ready to talk about it yet. So for just for what it's worth, that's where I can give you as of right now. The good news though is I'm back. I'm I'm in, I'm settled. I There's definitely still things I need to do. I need a desk in my office. I left behind a bunch of stuff and I can definitely feel the absence of a few things. I miss my terracotta like a lot because I would like to start planting things. Hi Junie. So I've got Willie and June. Like I'm just gonna kind of tell you what I can tell you, right? And then we're gonna go from there. One is my Botox is too strong right now. I just got my Botox done like two weeks ago and I, I've i never had Botox so strong. And I know it's in part because I had her just, I was just like, do as much as you kind of need to do. I've just been through shit, so I just don't want to look worse. But it's like, you know when it's like real strong? That's where I'm at. And so like, I can tell I'm also thinner than I've ever been. So like my face, like I'm noticing like, oh, I've never seen that do that before. So I don't love that. And I know it's not like her, because I've gone to her. She's the only woman I've ever let put anything in my face. So it's just, I think it's just like this version of me. Sweetheart. So yeah, so that's a thing. And um, other than that, it's Monday. I had a really nice weekend. I don't know if y'all do 2B Magnetic or TBM, if you're familiar with that, but I do that. And yesterday there was a walk. They organized like a big walk all weekend. I went down to that and I loved it. It was so fun. I'm really glad I did it. I've walked like the lake before but i've never done that specific walk it was kind of funny because i'm not somebody who does that kind of stuff normally so like i don't have like a lululemon like bag or whatever right and i don't have like the little sets especially not right now because everything doesn't fit me so it was just kind of funny because i'm watching these girls walk around i'm like oh this is like i feel like low-key crash in a party i wasn't invited to but i'm really grateful in terms of like you know all the hikers and stuff but I'm really glad I went because I just want the new energy. And I, it was nice to meet a bunch of people that all do the same. We all have this thing in common. And I think as adults, that's one of the things we were talking about yesterday was making friends as an adult, especially when you compare it to like being in school, dorms or whatever, like you just take for granted how easy it is to access your friends and then scheduling things like your best friends become brunch friends way too quick. So it was really nice. And then I also realized in the dinner party that I hosted, I need to be doing that often because I just went from cooking for people to not. And like cooking for myself is either too simple or it's I cook once and eat it for like three days, which I'm actually fine with, but then I'm only cooking twice a week, right? So I'm on that fun journey of like, okay, what does that actually look like, feel like? Who do I like it? You know, and I cook for my dogs, but Again, that's I'm basically a meal prep for them. And it's once a week. And I'm making bread still. I am keeping like those things. I'm still doing things, but I'm not like, I don't know, it's just a new chapter. I am calling this my revival era. I feel really compelled to share this chapter of my life with y'all. I've had such lovely DMs and comments in the last several months just as things have kind of unfolded for me. It's been really traumatic. I'm really so fucking grateful that I'm already in therapy. And I was, I had started therapy for grief and luckily my therapist, she's amazing. And she, she, I saw, I sought her out intentionally cause she specialized, specialized in a few things. But one of the things is grief and trauma. 
I remember in one of our very first sessions, she called out a, a something that I did not notice. And she's like, um, that's exploitation. Like that's a form of abuse. And that's been in my mind for the last six months because it's been something that I'm realizing has been going for a lot longer or I didn't, there's just so much that I'm unpacking that I'm like, oh my God. So I'm intensely thankful for, for her, but I also, I'm doing a lot of work on myself and I'm doing a lot of work on like this new chapter of myself and my life and what I want it to include. Cause when your whole life burns down, you know, you're kind of going through the rubble and you're deciding what do you want to keep and what do you want to, what do you need to replace? And I had that dinner party the other night because something I said to the people there were, you know, when everything goes up in smoke, the second the smoke starts to clear and you can see a little bit, the people walking towards you through the smoke were or like pay attention like notice them and the people that were walking towards me are not the people I would have thought they're not the ones I had on my bingo card and so I specifically had them over and I was like I'm so grateful for you because like I just the people I thought would come towards me didn't and I am so so incredibly thankful that people did because this has been brutal and so unkind and so cruel and so ugh, that just to know that I'm not alone, you know, it's just been so helpful. So I just want to share the revival era because it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I'm, I'm naturally pretty optimistic. So I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like delusional optimistic, but I'm definitely optimistic. And I'm really looking forward to this next era because I definitely feel wiser. I definitely feel like I haven't wasted my time. I definitely, well, I mean, in some ways I have, but in some ways I really feel so much more enriched in a way, in a way that I like don't really realize yet. There's like a well that I've been working on that I didn't realize I was working on. I have this hunch with my grief that my grief actually triggered like the work that I was doing in my grief, I'm really proud of. I'm super proud of that. And again, like it, my whole life went up in flames. So it's not like it's like yielded me some wonderful thing. But I do think the work I've done on myself in my grief to let me process it and to just sit in it and to understand it and to understand myself more, that is going to pay off in spades in this new chapter. If you're anything at all like me, I think it's so important as women to just tell our stories and to share and to be really open as much as we feel comfortable with and vulnerable about like life, man. Like I'm not 22, but I'm also not dead. So, you know, this is what it's like. This is what it's like to start all over again at, should I be 39 this summer? So like, let's see what, it's, let's see what's in store. You know, I spent five and a half weeks in Kentucky with my dad, uh, not planned to be there as long as I was at all, but just the amount of shit that's happened. It's like, honest to God, it is insane how much has happened just in 2024. If I made a list and I read you the list, somebody's thinking about me like really hard. My nose is like driving me nuts. If I made a list and read you the list, you would think I was lying to you. Like, like making a movie or something, like blowing smoke up your ass. I'm like, it's, it's the kind of insane that I'm like, oh, there's something behind this. Like there's some like major, it's almost like a slingshot. Like you get pulled way back and then you get launched. That's what I feel like I'm in. Let's discuss it. Let's show it. Let's see what's in store. But today it's Monday. I'm having a really good day. I've been awake for like five hours already. I love that. I love when I've got a good Sunday into Monday. That just, so having my coffee in my dolly mug. That's a new thing. I used to do those protein coffees. Now I do a Chemex. I don't have an espresso machine anymore, which I'm real grateful for um, because I never liked that espresso machine. And I love this. I got onto drip coffee with my dad and I just get this like, I'll, I'll tag it below. I'll tag the Chemex and the filter and then I'll tag the syrup that I put in my coffee. It's like a sugar-free cinnamon roll kind of flavor and it's so good. And I 
you know, I like to fast. So it's just been really wonderful for that. Like it. It's like this new vibe I got going and I really like it. I'll keep a thing going. Like the comments I get, like the feedback I get from other women, the whole like, I'm, the, I got one just before I started filming my actress appetite update. And she was like, I have followed you for so long. And like, since your OG makeup days, I'm, I don't know, polar opposite side of the world or whatever. And I just, I'm so thankful that you share and that you're like, I guess do it. I've gotten a lot lately about like, please keep being as real as you are. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. I can do that. <laughs> so anyway, on my new coffee game, I'm on my new everything game. I moved to a completely different part of town I've ever lived in before. Everything's new. I'm like 45 minutes away from where I used to live, which great. And I am single and I for the first time in my entire life, I live alone, fully alone with my dogs. But it's the first time. In, this is like so insane to say out loud. I am 38 years old. Almost 15 years of my adult life, like something between 14 and 15, I have been in a relationship. I've been in two like long-term committed relationships for the vast majority of my adult life. And then I had roommates. So for the first time in my life, I am the only person that like is here. So no one's, I'm not, I'm not expecting, I don't have anybody else's shit in my house. I don't have where I put it is where it is. It's where I left it. I literally sat down today to film and I was like, oh, I wish I had my desk. And I was like, well, just use my dining room table because it's not like it's going to get used unless I know, like everything goes through me. And I was like, wow. It's like all these little things like that, like everything, all the consumption rate is me. You know what I mean? And it's like paper towels, toilet paper, drinks, whatever, every, the composition of the refrigerator. Holy shit. Like it stays looking like that. It's just awesome. So like that part is amazing to explore because it's super new. Cleaning is a breeze for me. It's like amazing to me how much faster it is to clean. Like it's what, like the literal, the thing, I don't know why this sticks out in my mind. Cause I do know why. Cause I like plagued my life. The amount of times there'd be like something almost like sealed onto a countertop, like grubby food or drink or some, you know what I'm talking about where you needed like to scrape it. That was a daily occurrence. And I've never had it in the almost three weeks I've been in this house. Like I've had zero and it's just, I don't know. It's just like one of those things where I'm like, oh, I've hosted a damn dinner party and I haven't had, and it's just, ugh. so it's just kind of like, I don't know. There's this real clear, like there's a ton of stuff that's gone from just the mental energy. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what takes up its space. But the one good thing I can say is I do like, I really like living alone. I like it way more than I thought. There are moments I've noticed, there's like a few times that I've gotten a ping about, I would uh, go into the bathroom and he just taking a shower. And so you know how the shower would smell, like the bathroom would smell like, I, I, there was a ping the other day that I had where I was like, oh, I miss that. Um, but then I, you know, there's just, it's just life. It's just not going to be that way. And he's not, we're not getting back together. I mean, that's, that shit is, I have so much fucking trauma. There's so much I've learned that I'm just like, what the fuck? And it's been really illuminating in terms of psychology. Like I've read a lot about, because I had no idea what this was. Like I was, I thought it was me. No. I mean, I'm not like here to like shirk blame. Like I'll take the blame that I need to take. But like, I was like running this through with my therapist and she was like, okay, so, and we were kind of parsing it out. I've learned a lot, but I'm also, I'm just really excited about being a girl and my SSB, my secret single behavior. Like my, I've been watching Sex and the City again and I watch Bridgerton and I, I'm just like doing me, you know? I do like that. I do like who I am. I like myself a lot, actually. Um, but I'm noticing that I can be like, oh, I'm ready for this. And, oh, I think I'm ready for that. And I want new vibes, you know? Like I want, yeah. So that's fun. I'm in a completely different chapter. 
I mean, it's a full on revival era. So let's do it, man. Oh,